So we at uh, Qualcomm, and uh, what are you showing here? What is this? This is Dragonboard, Qualcomm's latest commercially available product to bring you the 8660 dual core with dual 1.5 gigahertz cores and all of the circuitry available outside, easy to access for third parties to integrate alternate sensors, alternate radios, alternate displays and touch screens so that they can bring their cameras up, the, the usual features around the chipset. So this particular board has on it HDMI output, Ethernet, RS-232, Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi, a sensor board that contains gyro, accelerometer, compass, pressure sensor, and temperature. All right. Let's see if I can remember them all. <laughs> so AP development board, uh, since when is it available? This will be available in late July. The base board will be $300, and then the accessories, which are the display and touch screen, the 1 megapixel and the 5 megapixel camera, the radio board, and the sensor board. The accessories will add an additional $200, so everything you see here, $500. $500. So how, how does that uh, compare with some other kind of development boards that some other companies do sometimes? So it's a little more expensive, but it contains a lot more functionality. So the other company development board doesn't come with display and touch screen. doesn't come with Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. You have to buy modules to add on. So it's comparably priced. Is it uh, to enable more kind of like uh, hardware development? It's based exactly. The other ones are more like software development? Software development. This one's hardware development. For software development, we have another platform that is uh, more closed up for software developers. And that's basic, more basic, cheaper more, maybe? Uh, less good. expensive. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, not less expensive than this. All right. but. All right. So dual core, the full dual core, and the, the, the yeah. chip module, what is in this? This is the chip module kind so, of. So this is the central module that has uh, the, the CPU, the PMIX, the DRAM, the uh, EMMC memory, the SIM card slots. So dual SIM. Dual SIM. That's something that phones in theory could have. Could have. So our, our GPU had, or our CPU has always had dual SIM capabilities, but not all the software has been enabled to use it. So and not every manufacturer chooses to put it in. And uh, the choice of putting it in is more like a choice, is not so much cost. Is it cost or not so much? Cost, size of the phone, and software support. But how much cost is there to add a second SIM? The cost of the connector. <laughs> Just a connector. Because everything else is everything kind of there. Everything else is already there. And it's just enable it in the software kind yes. of. All right. Because basically you use one modem for two kind of, or how does it work a little bit? Um, one modem can run on yeah. dual networks. All right. So in theory, you could swap this to a different one later. It will swap that, that one. And exactly. In theory, right. we can. All right. To demonstrate how you can take a basic dragon board and change peripherals on it, I've removed the display and touch screen from this unit and added a larger display and touch screen. So there's a small interface board, and then the display and touch screen module, and then around the back, I've got the touch screen controller demo board from Cypress, and by putting them all together, I have a large screen version of the Dragon board. This is not commercially available, but this is an example of how you can use the Dragon board to add alternate peripherals. So you would, you, you would I mean, all, any company that would want to like, develop a tablet would basically work with that. that. That would be a good starting point to work, develop a tablet. Or, or, or if phone. you're a, a sensor vendor, for instance, an accelerometer vendor, you can take the accelerometer board off and put an alternate accelerometer board on all right. and develop all the software and then be able to demonstrate to the OEMs, here's the Qualcomm processor running with my accelerometer instead of the Qualcomm processor. All choice. right. So it's for the hardware industry? Very good for the hardware industry, yes. As well as the, like, uh, what's called, well, anybody who makes a tablet is kind of in the hardware industry. Yes. They want to put their own screens, their own yep. stuff, their own things. And, and, and this is a very good starting point. Yeah. And to build your differentiated platform. All right. And if you just want to work on software, there's this. Yes. Right? This is our modem development platform, available from bsquared.com. Let me wake it up. Where'd the power switch go? There it is. <laughs> Right. And uh, you say our... Uh, this is available through B-squared, but it is a Qualcomm built. Qualcomm. All right. So 
it's at Qualcomm you do these development, yes. uh, these reference uh, boards and all that. Yes. Yeah. So this is development hardware, development and of course the software is standard Linux Android. What, what kind of price is this? This one is thirteen fifty. Thirteen fifty. Why why is it uh, that high? It's a fully closed up unit. Okay. Uh, it's built in San Diego, which doesn't help the cost. Okay. okay. All right, but this one is just 300 without some parts and 500 yep. with everything. Correct. All right, thanks a lot.